Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a look at using fill layers in a number of very flexible ways to add colour to a picture. So let's start off. If I go to layer, say new fill layer, it's going to just blot that away there so you can't see it. I can always reduce the opacity. So I could lighten it by just having it low value there. Or I can use a blend mode. I can use it to lighten it that way. So there in itself is something that can be done. Let's say, let's put a colour in, let's say call it green is in here. And now I want to um, add that colour to it. I can bring that down again. So what I've got is a tinting mechanism. Very simple. What if I want to apply it more selectively, for example, by luminosity? So if I take that off and I hit Control Alt and click the little picture there, it selects by luminosity. So now if I put in a fill layer, then it uses that colour and I've now got this. So if that I, I just go Control D to get rid of the marching ants. This looks pretty green. I can always turn down the opacity of it and just have a tint here where it's putting it more into the lights than into the darks in this example. Or I can go down here and use something like a soft light, which is quite a pleasant fact. There is also more flexible ways of doing this. I'm going to leave this for the moment because I'm going to put in another fill layer above here and do this in a different way, but just going to show that it's the same effect. And that is to use the blend ranges up here. With this, you may think, well, it's applying to this layer, so should we be using this one? But if I use this and I bring this down like this, all it's doing is going and just, it's like opacity, isn't it? Yeah, so this acts like an opacity control. That's all it's doing is turning it down. And if you go the other end, you get the same effect. But this is kind of handy because I can use this as, a, as an opacity control. And now if I go to the on the other side, now if I pull this down here, I'm using the bottom layer as the control on this green. So it's how much comes through. So if I'm pulling it down here on the left hand side, so this is dark and this is light. So this say in the blacks, I want none of the green, and you can see here that's being pulled down. If you had a perfect black, you'd find that. But I want all of it available up there. And so I'm now controlling this. And if I take that off and put that on, see I've got the same effect. So in fact, I don't need that layer. Let's take that one out. I've got far more control with this one. What I can do with this as well is if I move this across like this, then I'm applying this just to the lights, going from the mid-ranges, mid-tones, up to the lights there. I can uncheck that and have a curve on it. And I can, of course, use a blend mode to make that a bit more usable. What I can do as well with this, if I return the blend mode to normal, is saying I'm focusing here on the lights. So I need a light colour here. So to make this light, I'm just going to push up the red and the blue there. So what you're getting is going to be a light green. You can see that very light green. Or oh, I can do it down here. I can play with the colours here. And what this is doing, this is applying the light green just to the lights. And I can, of course, again, play with the opacity here. So that it uses like a volume control. I can also go the other way up here. Bring that one down and... This one's somewhere in the middle, but this is now applying it to the darks. But because it's applied to darks, it looks odd because I'm applying a light colour into the darks. So I'll make those darker. So I'll bring those down and bring the green right down here. So now I've got dark green being applied into the shadows. And you can get some interesting effects like that. And I can control this by how much it, of the shadows it comes into. I could pull this across here and say, oops. Here we go. So let's push it more into the shadows like that. 
I can control the volume effectively of it with this. And so I've got a really good way of colouring this as set by the fill colour here. And because it's a fill colour, and this is still a fill layer, I can actually go around and change this to whatever I like. Because I'm focusing on the darks, then I'd better keep to the, the bottom end here so I can put a nice tint into the shadows. And because I haven't used the blend mode, that means I can use here any other blend mode that I like. So I can now add different ways of blending going down here. So that is a very useful way of using the fill layer to add all kinds of colouring effects. And I'm going to come back to this in future videos. Thank you very much for watching.